Assalamu alaikum. My name is Akib and I am a freelance web developer. So in last video we have talked about orders API in WooCommerce and in this video we will cover customers API. WooCommerce customer API. So first of all we will get a list of customers from the API. Then we will get a single uh, customer details from API. After that we will create a customer through the API. Then we will update a customer at the end we will delete a customer and this is the last video of the WooCommerce REST API series so let's get started first of all we have to open a browser and go in WooCommerce REST API so this is REST API documentation on the left side go to customers so here you will get a uh, customer API so first of all we need to get a list of customers so this is list of customer API so what we have to do is I have already set up the WooCommerce API keys and my page as you can see customer.php is my page and these are set up for a WooCommerce so what we need to do is we need to copy this I mean we can write here here customers we can WooCommerce get I think WooCommerce get method and what we want to get is customers customers so now we have a list of all customers that we have on our store so let's print so let's save the page and refresh our page where is our page this is our page customer.php okay okay that's great so as you can see now we have a list of all customers that we have on our website okay so now we can what is our next step next step is get a single customer details with customer ID so what we have to do I think we have to pass a customer ID let's check uh, retrieve a customer so here we need to pass a customer ID of, uh, after customers so let's get some ID from here let's pull 471 this is our customer ID and we want to get this customer detail from the API so what we have to do is we just need to pass let me copy this complete code and paste it under this point and comment this point okay so now what we need to do is we have just pass customer ID here 471 so now let's refresh the page Okay, that's perfect as you can see now we have only this customer data from the API okay so now our third point is how to create a customer through the API let's check go back in documentation and create click on create a customer so here you can see this is an array that we need to pass to a WooCommerce API for creating a customer so let's copy this array and paste it here this is just for testing so you can update uh, this array data with your actual data right now I'm just using, I'm just using this same as it is okay so now I'm putting here like 
atgmail.com okay name will be four this is for identification so we can check in our uh, customers list that customer has been created or not four. so I'm just replacing John with who and do with Avon okay okay I think that's enough so now we have a array that we want to insert in our customers so what we need to do is we need to use now put method okay you can see here post method sorry when we will update a customer then we will use a put method okay put request or put method put method so now how to insert this data what we will do is first of all we will get a response in this variable from the WooCommerce API then we will call WooCommerce post what we need to post is CUS customers and this data data we need to post so this is a customers table and uh, this is the data that, uh, that we need to insert in customers so now here so everything is perfect now let's run the code and see what's happened after inserting the code uh, sorry after uh, refreshing the page we will get uh, we will check again uh, customers list so we can make sure this customer has been created or not we can check as well here let me let me print this response let me copy this code and paste it here so api response will be saved in this variable okay and response okay so now let's refresh customers so this is something is password callback this is error let me check what's the process Let me check a documentation. Let's okay, let's put a password. I think we are missing a password. Maybe let's one, two, three, four, five, six. okay that's great so we were missing uh, one parameter that was password so now customer has been created as you can see this customer has id 5945 okay so now these are the details that we have inserted that's perfect so now we will update a user sorry customers details here is uh, okay so now we will update a customer data so we will update this customer data 5945 okay what we have to do is we have to copy this array you can pass any parameter but i am just updating a user billing address and shipping address name so we will update name from who to archive this is first name in customer this name okay in billing we will update a first name in shipping we will update a first name so we will see our cap sorry okay okay 
So now what we need to do is we need to call WooCommerce API like WooCommerce put customers and slash customer ID that we will use this customer data we are updating and this data and that's it so now let's comment this now refresh the page we should need to get updated data of the customer perfect as you can see now name has been replaced first name everywhere as you can see first name is Akib and billing address first name is Akib and shipping address first name is Akib so now last point is how to delete a customer through the API so let's check go to documentation and click on delete a customer so same thing WooCommerce delete customers then customer ID then extra parameter is force is equal to true okay this will delete the customers let's check okay so we are going to comment this and WooCommerce sorry we need to put under this point so now here we need to pass same id like because we are using this customer as our tutorial so now we will delete this customer from the our customer list okay well we need to check if l then echo customer deleted refresh and okay as you can see customer has been deleted now let's confirm so let's our fetch our customer list so where is customer list here is our customer list in first point Okay, die and refresh. So our last customer should not be there. Here you can see customer has been deleted. So this is another customer. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have any comments you can put in comment section. I will reply as soon as possible. If you are new on this channel, please hit the subscribe button and keep supporting me. Thank you. Bye bye.